With all the Osu players we've seen over the years, I have a simple question for you. Who comes to mind when I say underrated? Maybe you think of the past, Digital Hypno, or maybe even Ming with his low accuracy. Heck, you might even think of some other players like GN or Zazuma. Well, today's player isn't a top player, and she's not exactly known for setting insane plays or high PP scores, but she has certainly put in a lot of time and effort to be considered underrated. I'm of course talking about Zalaria. Zalaria is a player from the US, and right now she currently has the record of over 65,000 SS's. This knocks everyone else out of the park. But of course, she didn't arrive at this absurd number overnight. She has put tons of hours, grinding scores, and doing her best to stay at the top. She is honestly one of the most dedicated players I have ever met, and probably one of the most dedicated this game has ever seen. She has SS tons of maps, from old mistimed maps to numerous marathons, and everything in between. Zalaria is one of the most unique and underrated players. Having said that, let me take you through her journey and just how she became the player with the most SS's in Osu Standard. Okay, before we start, I want to mention that I've already made a video about Zalaria in the past, but that video feels more like a score showcase. It goes over a lot of her very specific scores. This video will take you through her journey, her story, and not focus so much on those scores. With that out of the way, her story starts in 2012. So why are we starting here? Well, this story starts with an app you may or may not have heard of before, Osu Stream. This was a mobile app version of Osu developed for Apple iOS devices. It's quite a bit different from the Osu that we play on our PCs today, but when it was released it did fairly well. It racked up over 1.5 million installs and one of those just so happened to be Zalaria. She downloaded this game and played through the free songs that came with it. It was pretty fun, and it kind of reminded her of when she used to play DDR on her PlayStation. So she kept playing this on and off for a few months until January 2013, when her sister introduced her to Osu on the PC. Of course, Zalaria made an account and started playing just like anybody else would. Welcome to us. She found it very strange to use Z and X on the keyboard to tap along. It was so strange in fact that she got a C on the tutorial her first time playing through it. I don't know about you, but I find that very relatable. Anyway, she continued playing through some of the bundled songs, but eventually she figured out that you could actually download beatmaps without paying for them, unlike Osu Stream. She did what every Osu player does when they start. She downloaded her favorite anime songs and played them. Okay, obviously she couldn't have become a distinguished player in her first month, but there was some interesting stuff going on. She was mainly playing to get on leaderboards. See, the Osu player base was much smaller back then, so she found it fun and enjoyable competing with some of the same players that you could find on nearly any leaderboard. It was in this first year that she found she really enjoyed playing with Hidden much more than Nomad. I feel the need to point out some things about the early years of Osu. During this time, mapping was not up to par with today. Some maps were mistimed, had no consistent style, rhythms that just didn't make sense, linear patterns, but the trait that stands out the most these days is low AR. If you don't know what AR is, it stands for approach rate. This is how soon a circle shows up on the screen before it needs to be clicked in time. It works on a scale from 0 to 11, with 11 showing up on screen the fastest and 0 being the slowest. This is important to know because like I said, older maps tended to use lower approach rates. This means that it is easy for a lot of circles to be on the screen at once, making it harder to focus on timing or even the order that the circles show up. For her, playing these maps with Hidden was just easier so... She pretty much played everything with Hidden. Throughout her 9 plus years of playing, she is still a Hidden main to this day. There's a website named Osu Stats. You can search for a user and see scores they've set that landed them on a map's leaderboard. Searching for Zalaria, we can see that she has almost 900 pages of scores on this site. While that is insane in its own right, we're here to look at some of her earliest scores on Osu. It's very apparent that she was playing for leaderboard scores as soon as she started. There are scores all throughout 2013 that got her onto many leaderboards, and it looks like nearly all of these scores are SS's as well. Before she knew it, she hit 1000 SS's. And then 2000. She kept playing like this until late 2014. 
In October of this year, tragedy struck. Oh no! The laptop she had been playing Osu on suddenly broke, and there weren't any other computers around that she could use to play Osu. The following month of November, her play count dropped all the way to zero. So she did her best and soldiered on. She went a record-breaking five months without playing Osu. I didn't know this was possible. So of course I asked her how she handled it. She said that she had to resort back to playing Osu stream on her phone. This sounds like an absolute tragic five months, but eventually she found a way to play Osu again and came back to the game. When Zalario returned, she continued playing four leaderboard scores. <laughs> yeah, boy. She eventually found herself at 3,000 SS's and then 4,000. Fast forward to 2016 and her SS count is slowly growing bigger and bigger. I again want to emphasize that she isn't playing specifically to increase her SS count. She's mainly playing to get on leaderboards and just have fun. She really enjoys sitting back, playing some easy songs, and chatting with the community. It was this year that she discovered a player by the name of Aurora Flow 12 This person has over 12,000 SS's on their Osu account. And when Zalaria saw that, she thought to herself, hmm... I wonder if I'll ever have that many SS's. After a few seconds of thinking, she alt-tabbed back into Osu and kept playing for leaderboards like she had been doing. In no time, she passed 5,000 and then 6,000, and before she even knew it, she hit 7,000 SS's in November. This is a pretty decent pace, and SS's aren't easy to get, even if you consider a lot of the maps easy. It's one thing to play through these easy maps, it's another thing to have the patience to SS all of them. Actually, this had me wondering, how could she be so patient and spend so much of her time playing through all these maps? Well, it's time to talk about Zalaria's personality and her motivation that's kept her playing all this time. So, what sets her apart from other Osu players besides the way that she plays? When most people play Osu, they get hooked on the ranking system and just want to improve as much as possible. The best way to do that is by continually pushing yourself to play harder stuff. This is where most people find Osu fun, but not Zalaria. It's not that she doesn't enjoy improvement, she just enjoys playing at a slower pace. She plays Osu as a sort of way to relax and chill. She really enjoys hearing all the different types of music, playing all the new maps, talking to others in the community, and mainly being different from everybody else. She takes pride in what she does, and while she may be humble about it, she continues on the same track year after year. She is really passionate about Osu. She genuinely enjoys her time with the game. Alright, so she's not the best Osu player, but she's definitely unique and different from the vast majority. While this is true, there are other SS players out there, and this is surely another source of motivation for her. If you are familiar with the SS scene in Osu, then you most likely know who I'm talking about. This person has a very similar playstyle to Zalaria, and these two have been rivals ever since they met. That's right, I'm talking about Sleep Tiner. He has the second most SS's in Osu standard, right behind Zalaria. These two have been friends and rivals since November 2016, when Sleep Tiner reached 10,000 SS's. One of her friends told her about him, and when she saw him hit 10k, she sent him a congratulations, and they've pretty much been friends since. These two have constantly competed with each other to see who could reach milestones first, every 5,000 and every 10,000 SS's. This rivalry has helped both of them to stay on track and keep pushing each other further and further. I think it should be clear that although Zalaria spends a lot of time playing maps to get SS's, she has plenty of other goals. She has a list of goals on her user page that she aims to achieve. I'd love to go over these right now, but I think we should get back to the timeline. So let's return where we left off, November 2016. She has over 7,000 SS's at this point, and she just became friends with Sleep Tiner. This is the turning point when she decides to start playing specifically for SS's. Now, don't get me wrong, she still wanted to be on map leaderboards, but this was the point where getting an S rank just wasn't good enough. She wanted to make sure all of her plays were SS's. Reaching Sleep Tiner's SS count would be difficult, and Zalaria knew that. So how did she start? Well, you know what they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. So what she did was set a goal to SS a certain number of maps each day. She started out with a goal of around 30 SS's a day. This number has fluctuated throughout the years, but the important thing is that she has been consistent and stuck with it. 
I love putting stories into perspective with data that you can actually see. Looking at a graph that displays her score ranks, this month is where the line gets even steeper than before. Having another person who was actively doing the same thing as her really pushed her to catch up and even try to surpass him. So that's exactly what she did. But like I said, it's all about pacing yourself so you don't burn out. Now that Zlerio was filled with determination, she continued her grind. Three months later in February of 2017, she hit the milestone of 10,000 SS's. While she was happy to get here, her rival was now at 15,000 SS's and she had some more catching up to do. Earlier, I said that a lot of the maps she plays are considered easy, but there are hard low star maps, which by the way, if you've never played this specific 4 star map, then you should try it. This map is a perfect example of a low star map that is extremely tough. See, a lot of her plays are underrated, and she has spent a lot of time grinding specific scores. One of those scores that I find incredibly cool is on a 2007 map named Cheer. This map has pretty much everything I listed off earlier. It has linear patterns and rhythms that are odd to say the least. After all these years, this map still has under 100 FCs, and she assessed it. Okay, back to the timeline. She kept the same pace after reaching 10k. It was exactly 299 days later, or a little bit under 10 months, in November, that she would reach 20,000 SS's. Reaching 10,000 and 20,000 SS's in the same year is pretty impressive and it just goes to show her dedication. At this point in time though, her rival Sleep Tiner was still 8,000 SS's ahead of her. She really wanted to catch up, so of course she kept grinding. I really want to stress the fact that she paces herself. Throughout her time playing so far, she's been averaging between 2,000 and 3,000 play count each month. This is a pretty good number. It's not extremely high or extremely low. Earlier, I briefly mentioned something about her playing DDR in the past. Well, if you don't know, DDR stands for Dance Dance Revolution. Another popular rhythm game that has been released on many platforms including arcade cabinets. So she got this game for her PlayStation 2, way before she ever even knew about Osu. It ended up being one of her favorite games. And I really believe that this is the source of her playstyle. Let me start by saying that she did not use a dance pad, but instead her controller. And she mainly played the basic and medium difficulties. This game has challenges for Yi Chong, and she set out to complete all of them. These challenges range from things like step on spots where there are no arrows, perfect score, full combo, avoid using the same foot twice in a row, play with the receptacles in a diagonal line, learn the expert setting of this song well so you won't be fooled by the special options. Although tedious, she really enjoyed completing them and jamming out while doing it. So when she eventually found Osu and saw the leaderboards, she took that as a sort of challenge, but it's more than just leaderboards. She likes pushing herself on rhythmically complex maps as well as small circle size maps. She challenges herself so much that she has a collection of 26 maps where she is the only player with an SS. Her love of DDR challenges has really influenced her from the start and to this day, it's one of the things that she finds most addicting about Osu. Before we get to her progress, I want to play what she considers one of her best scores. This is her most played map and she is the only hidden SS on it. She considers this to be one of her best scores because the rhythms in this map are really awkward and they change suddenly. You might notice throughout this replay that she's also cursor dancing. This is an early habit that she never stopped and honestly it just looks like she's having a great time playing this game. Okay, let's get back to Osu and see how she continues progressing. Last time we checked it was 2017 and Zlaria had just hit 20k. After this, she actually increased her pace slightly. This time it took about 250 days or 8 months for her to hit the next milestone of 30,000 SS's. According to my calculations, I found that she achieved about 39 SS's every day, which, by the way, she refers to as dailies. All I did was find the average, so in reality, some days she probably set more and some days less. Continuing down her path, she decided to keep going to try and catch up with Sleep Tiner. At this point, she already had more SS's than she thought she would ever have. Once you get into a routine, it's very easy to stick to it. So of course that's exactly what she did. While she's working on this, I want to bring up a record that Zalaria has. 
She holds the record for the lowest unstable rate on a one star map. If you are unfamiliar with unstable rate, or you are as it's commonly referred to, let me briefly explain it. Unstable rate measures your consistency of timing hits, or in other words, your stability. So the closer your hits are timing wise, the lower number you get, and lower is better. This is different from accuracy, which measures your ability to hit objects on time. So why is this important or impressive you may ask? Well, basically, hidden. Now for a better answer. Due to the low density, as well as the low circle count on these maps, being consistent is far from easy. It's actually easier to get a low unstable rate when there's a lot of objects to hit. Anyways, she set this record at a low 56.8 UR. Again, this is pretty impressive considering that she plays everything with hidden. So the circles were visually not on the screen when she was clicking them. Sure, that's pretty neat, but wow, she just got to 40,000. This milestone took a bit longer than the previous ones, taking a little under a year. Now, it's July 2019, and she has shown no signs of slowing down at all. By now, Zalaria has been chasing in Sleep Tiner's footsteps for a few years, meeting her daily SS goals, and as the new year of 2020 started, she was close. Staying up late one night in February, she finally caught up to her long-term rival, she broke his streak of 1,003 days where he had the most SS's, and now they both had over 46,000 SS's. This number is crazy, and to think that both of these players reached it is quite amazing. These two were now in a race to see who could reach 50,000 SS's first. March comes. They both have 47,000 now. Zalaria starts off strong in April, reaching 48,000, while Sleep Tiner was behind about 300. The end of April comes, and Zalaria is still in the lead. Sleep Tiner hit 49,000 on May 17th, taking the lead from her. She reached 49,000 only 4 days later on May 21st. They are neck and neck, extremely close, only 1,000 left to go. They are at the home stretch now. June comes around, and this is the month it finally happens. Sleep Tiner is putting in ridiculous numbers leading up to 50k. And late into the month, he wins the race to get it first. Instead of being upset, Zalaria was truly happy for him. Their rivalry has been nothing but friendly since they met. They have been helping to push each other all these years. So feeling happy for her friend, she really pushed herself to hit 50k as well. She hit the massive milestone of 50,000 silver SS's on July 3rd, 2020. Proving the fact that legends never die. That would also be the name of the map this play was set on. The amazing part of this? Even though she didn't reach 50,000 first, she was still the first person to get 50,000 silver SS's. While both of their accomplishments are similar, they're technically different. This makes both of them the first person for each of their achievements. Staying on the grind like usual, Zalaria ended up passing Sleep Tiner after 50k. It looks like he took it easy for a while, which allowed her to pass him. Since then, he of course got back on his dailies, so they remain pretty close in number of SS's. Well, I say that they are back on the grind, but you can see both of their slopes aren't quite as steep as they used to be. This doesn't really matter much because, like I said, they both have a daily amount they complete, so the number still continues to grow. Before I talk about the next big milestone, I want to tell a short story. Back in 2020 when I made a video about Zalaria before, obviously I got in contact with her and collaborated with her to make a lot of it possible. During this time, I got to know quite a bit about her playstyle and what kind of maps she found interesting. We had also been having some friendly chats, so I got on Osu one day and I was just randoming through some maps and I found one that I thought she might enjoy. I went ahead and sent it to her and even though she was in the middle of her dailies, she took the time to stop and play it. You just know I had to spectate her and watch. I really believed that she would SS it on her first try. Well, to my surprise, she didn't. After playing it once, she went back to her dailies. This map is 5.17 stars and the song is named again. It's from Full Metal Alchemist, which is an amazing anime by the way. And most notably, it is circle size 7. CS7 isn't terribly difficult, but 
For some players, it can be outside of their comfort zone. I mentioned earlier that Zelaria really enjoys challenging herself on high CS maps. So, I wasn't very surprised when I woke up the next morning and saw a message from her that she had SS'd it. To my astonishment, it took her less than 5 tries. Like I said, it's not a very difficult map, but dude, her consistency is just crazy. Even now, there's only like 6 hidden SS's on it. Anyways, let's get back to her journey. This time, it took an entire year and 3 months before she hit the next milestone of 60,000 SS's. This happened just last year in October. It's not really a surprise to anyone at this point, except maybe Zelaria herself. Back when she started playing for SS's to catch up to Sleep Tiner, she knew she had a lot of work ahead. After all these years of just staying consistent, she's managed to do it. She has surpassed the person who inspired her to take this journey seriously. Right now, she has almost 66,000 SS's. I keep saying that this number is massive because it really is. She has built this number up over the past 9 years and it's been quite the journey to get here. But now that we're caught up to current day, what else can I tell you about Zelaria? Well, like I said earlier, she's a rather humble person, but underneath that, she's hardworking and dedicated to this game. She doesn't plan on quitting anytime in the foreseeable future, so you will for sure continue seeing her on map leaderboards. I would also like to say, good job Zelaria, keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> 